and welcome back to Wandering Through Wayne's World. You know, you know how I feel about the arts and without the arts, really, we, we have so little. And the arts encompass so much, and I know we talk about it a lot about theater and stuff like that, but with me is Jennifer Kinnear from Quench Your Palette. Did I get it right? Yes, I did. How are you? How are you? Okay, so <coughs> art. Well, how did you get into doing art? Um, I have been doing art uh, since I can remember. Kid, I used to do it underneath my staircase. <laughs> I used to paint all the walls. That's what I was going to say. Just That's all I ever did. I doodled and painted all the time. So when you were in school, did you like you know, we had the, a loose leaf book. Mm -hmm. Did you like while they were talking? Did all you all the way around? All the way around. Yep. <laughs> you pictures. Now I love art, mm -hmm. even though I'm not good at it. Mm -hmm. I love music, even though I really stink at it. <laughs> but I sing anyway, and you got to deal with it. But <clears throat> I remember, as a kid, not as well, I guess a kid today, but I would send a, um, a letter, mm -hmm. and that whole envelope was doodled. Yep. Okay, there was all kinds of drawings and whatever I could possibly think of. As bad as it was, I would make sure that 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 envelope was non typical of everybody else's yep. envelope. All right, so now you, when did you decide that you wanted to do art f as, as, you know, a business type scenario? Um, as a business, probably about, about six years ago. Um, well, I, I had little kids and I used to teach dance as well. So I started doing like the little kid things and then we would do like an arts and craft with them when I had them at home. So we did that as like a part-time thing. And then about six years ago, I decided to do it full-time because I had gone to, uh, a BYOB painting class with a right. friend of mine, and I thought, what a great way to be able to make a living doing something I love in this local area, and there was nothing around here like that. And you know, it's funny, uh, I get it, because people are like, what can we do at night, mm -hmm. okay? And all of a sudden, these, these, these things like you were all over the place. Yep. And, uh, I thought, wow, that's interesting because everybody's looking for something to do at night. And what do you, can you do? The movies. Yep. Okay, and eat. So you're 700 pounds because you're eating. <laughs> okay. I found that I was reviewing restaurants and I was gaining all this weight. So it was really kind of weird. But um, all right, so now you decide you're going to do this as a business. Yep. So six years ago, you kind of put yourself together and here's yep. what I'm doing. Okay. Quench your palate. Yes. That became your now your company. Yep. And did you have a studio or do you go to people's places? How do you? I have a studio in Jensen Beach and then I also do offsite parties. And we do fundraisers, we do birthday parties, we do uh, special educational art courses, we do art therapy for rehabs and Alzheimer's. We do a little bit of everything. Okay, I know you guys are interested, so let's take this one first. This this one we're about to show was done by what? This is for a birthday party for the kids. So who, they wanted uh, to do a line. I taught, this was me painting this, but this was the painting that all the kids did in the class. So this is kind of the painting that they did. It's a lion. and. All right, how many kids were in that class? Uh, there was probably about 15. Okay, so this is, you did. I painted this, so, but I taught them step-by-step step how to paint this. So they, they all painted the same thing. Let's talk about this being a 10, okay? <laughs> one being really bad. So were there any ones? Or no, you know what? For me, I love to see that the kids do it on their own and whatever they come up with, which they always come up with something quite different, yeah. <laughs> but that's what's cool about art. And I always tell them, I'm like, don't compare yours to mine or to anybody else's because it's what, it's what, you, it's what you see. Right. And, and what, what comes out of you that makes it <coughs> art and what makes it special. And you know, it's always in the eye of the beholder. However someone sees art is how someone's gonna see it. You may see something and love it and right. they may see it and absolutely hate it. Look, so it's. I, I have um, photos up there. Um, uh, prints and stuff up there that uh, people don't get, okay? And, um, and you do. I find them really good. Yep. Um, some artists like Erte don't fit for other people, and mm -hmm. I, I just connected with that. I like art. I remember going through a period of time where I liked globes. Mm -hmm. So maps, globes, anything painted like that was like really cool for me. Um, but and then I learned that art is really not about an Erte or someone famous. It really is about what you see in your own mind. Yep. What comes out of here. Right. And All right. Yeah. So you do these. Be bring your own. Yep. Okay. And cu couples. A lot of couples. A lot. We do couples classes. Um. Uh, most of the time, people come together as a couple. A lot of girlfriends come together. We do. You know, some bridal showers and 
baby showers, they come out for um, wedding um, parties, just everything, like so many different people. Yeah, but I'm like, going somewhere with this. <laughs> guy comes out with his girlfriend or his wife. Oh, yeah, and let me tell you, the guys are more competitive. With the I was just going to go with that. Are. Is there like Absolutely. any competition there? Big time. Big time. <laughs> the guys want it. The guys are into it. They get really into it, and like, it, it's 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 comical. It's fun. You know, I, I have a good time doing it. I cover a lot of women's events, mm -hmm. and um, when I do these women's events, there's 250 to maybe 1,500 women, mm -hmm. and some are in the same industry. And they all empower one another. Yep. You put three guys in a room, and there's a fight <laughs> and a competition. <laughs> it's just how that is. Yeah. So I got to imagine, because I know me, and if I'm going to sit with my girlfriend or my wife, whatever, and play Monopoly, um, I got friend. that killer instinct in me. <laughs> okay, and she's like, it's a game. What, what, what's the competition? Yeah. It's a game. <laughs> you need to feel like you win? All right, so you won. Yeah. So there's a lot of competition. Okay, let's talk about the kids. Okay. So the kids come, do they, are they, like, what ages? Uh, we do as young as three all the way up to 18, 19. Okay, so what's the best age for a beginning stage for a kid to learn to want to enjoy the arts and paint? Honestly, I think whenever they're ready to do it, if it's, if it's in them, then I would absolutely give it to them. Okay, because I know that, um, you know, kids go and they scribble and they color and mm -hmm. whatever. When I was a kid, when I got sick, you know, we didn't have video games back then. We had, um, we, we wrote on parchment paper. It goes back a long time, guys. <laughs> but um, my mom would buy us coloring books mm -hmm. and we would color. Yep. And you know what? I'm 60 and I still love to color. Mm hmm Okay, so when um, I'm around someone who's sick and they have a coloring book, it's like, oh, when I go to the restaurant and, the, and they have the kids menu yep. with the coloring, I make sure I get crayons mm -hmm. and I make sure I get the color. Yeah. Okay, because art, it, 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 if art's in you, it's in you. And it's therapeutic. It relaxes you. It makes you kind of forget where you are and take you somewhere else, which is, it transports you into right. another world, which is nice. And I... Some people do it by reading. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a reader. Yep. So <coughs> for me, if I can get a crayon or a pencil or whatever and doodle, You're gonna I do would it. see where it goes. Mm -hmm. And you, the funny thing is, I just never knew where it would go. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I was doing a specific item. I would just put my pencil to the paper and then draw a circle and whatever, and then boom, I would just like, whatever's there is there. Yep. Look, here's my work, yay. <laughs> There's a piece in front of me. Um, it looks like a palm tree? Yes, that was for our art therapy. Um, basically, the kids took a, they had instructions, and it's more for um, hand-eye coordination um, to get kids um, that are challenged to work with their hands in colors, and they had to create the tree with the cardboard. So everything on there was created with a piece of cardboard and paint. Oh, wow, that's very yeah, cool. Yeah, so it helped them, you know, with their with their um, motor skills, and they had to follow directions, so they had to follow it in order to do something that they wanted to themselves at the end. All right, so now I have a bigger picture here. <laughs> this it, is just a sample of one of the things we do at the BYOB. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and you know, we live in Florida, so there's a lot of um, sea life rescue yep. and turtle releases and stuff. Who did this one? Uh, I painted that one, and I taught that to the class. Okay, so obviously, if you think that you're going to go to a class where you're not going to learn how to do something good, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool, guys. Thanks you got to admit. <laughs> yeah. There's no numbers on here, so you can't decide to pay be amazed. Everyone's comes out really, really well. Really? Yeah. Okay, so you're in the art world. Yep. <coughs> we, and we were discussing in the green room that arts have a hard time and whatever. Mm -hmm. Where do you see things in the art world going? Um, honestly, I, I wish it was going in a better direction. I okay. mean, I think the arts are out there. Um, I, I wish it was not leaving the schools as much as it is because I know it's a struggle for the art teachers to, you know, they have to pay their own, a lot of their own money to buy the supplies or they have to charge the kids to, you know, be a part of the art program. And they're doing the same thing in music and theater and all that. Um, you have to buy your own pencils as a teacher. Yeah, it's, and it's unfortunate because I believe that this makes you an all around better person, student, everything. It just grounds you. And the fact that it's you know not in school as much as it should be, you know, breaks my heart. But I do love 
what everyone's doing. I love having other studios around. I love having the opportunity that everybody has to be able to go and do art on their own at an affordable price and have a good night out. All right, so, because we're getting to the top of time. So I want to do some artwork. Where do I find paint? Canvas, where's the best place to go for stuff like that? Um, I always like try to buy local because I'm a community girl. So okay. I go to my local Michaels. Okay. And we have a good relationship, so I pretty much buy all my stuff. And they probably have everything you need? Yep, they have everything you need. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So if people want to get in touch with you, book a party, come to your studio, how would they do it? You have a website? Yep, quencherpalette.com, or you can email us at quencherpalette at gmail.com, and our phone number is 772 Where is your studio, what area? It's on Jensen Beach Boulevard in Jensen Beach. Guys, you know, you can go to the movies and spend a ton of mov money to see something that you don't know if it's going to be any good because there's a lot of garbage out there movie-wise. <laughs> and it's uh, going to movies is just a crappy date because, and it's crappy to take your family because there's no talking, no yeah. conversation. It's like being like, on your phone. Here, guys, I'm talking to the guys now. <laughs> Here, you can get in there, paint, and prove that you're better than the girl. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 With that, everybody, check out Crunchy Palette. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you.